what's up guys it's Alyssa welcome back to my channel today I have for you uh, like an updated skincare video it's not exactly updated but I'm not using any of the same stuff so to me it's updated I'm going to be doing this video entirely using bloom mineral bloom mineral beauty this is not sponsored at all I'm not even a promoter for them I'm nothing but I think this stuff is really cool so that's what I'm gonna do and I got one of their like ready set as it says ready set hydrating beauty essentials so this one comes with four things it comes with a purifying mud mask moisture shield softening cleansing milk and shielding eye cream so I got that they're all mini sizes so it looks like this and then I got a full size of the deep moisture shield and I got a full size of the purifying mud right, so I went on their website and it says first step one is cleanse step two is tone step three is moisturize Step four is purify, which is... Okay, so the last thing I'll do is the mask. Um, I didn't get one of their toners just because I have my own, um... There's just a bouncing facial toner. I have my own things that I use for that. I'm not going to show that in that video. But since the first step is to cleanse, I'm going to use the softening... Ah! The softening, I think that's what I have. Yes, I have the softening cleansing milk or right hair all these are like small sizes yep so i'm gonna use that first these are the wrong directions so it has directions for the purifying mud mask the moisture shield the deep moisture shield and the shielding eye cream but in here it comes as shielding eye cream moisture shield purifying mud mask and the softening cleanse the soft softening cleansing milk So, I guess I'm just going to have to figure this out on my own because the packaging is wrong in here. So, that's a definitely downside to that. So, I'm not entirely sure what to do about this, but I'm just going to put that all over my face. Like, it just doesn't feel like a cleanser, but it has a really weird smell. So, I'm just going to put it all over my face because it, didn't, it doesn't come with directions. But it literally doesn't even feel like a cleanser that you would be needing to wipe off like it just goes right into the skin so that's what I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna leave that there it definitely feels softening it's just a really weird smell mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll keep using this because that smell is what is gonna get me all right uh, the next step I'm going to use um, let's see the moisture shield and I'm going to use the shielding eye cream so for the moisture shield we smooth over the skin daily and for the shielding eye cream gently pat under lids and onto upper lids and under eyes so first we're going to start off with the moisture shield oh, I have to open this one too it's gonna, that's the consistency of it it's kind of like a lotion Ew, it smells weird. It smells really, really weird. Okay, anyways. I'm just going to put little dots all over my face. And I'm just going to rub that in. I could probably use more, but I'm just going to use however much I put on there. And I have a very, very, very small face compared to most people, so. This stuff will probably last me a while, but the minis probably won't last people with like regular size faces not that mine's like a regular it's just small I'm a small person next I'm going to take the shielding eye cream and it's for your eyes obviously I can't open this all right T Okay, bad thing about this is like already kind of like soaking through the packaging. Anyways, this one's like slightly thicker. This is like the sun, like sun gnome, because not all sunscreen is like this. I don't know, it's like a thicker lotion. And I'm just going to put this, oh, it says pat under the eyes. I think I got too much to be able to pat under my eye, but I'll put it on my upper eyelids too. I guess I can just let that soak in. Okay. 
Okay. So that's how that looks. So I'm going to be using the Purifying Mud Mask. Apply it then later to clean skin. Let dry for 10 to 20 minutes. Remove with water. So, that's what I'm going to do. We put, like, why are you doing a mask when you just did all this? And, um, I don't know. But I am going to get a brush. So, I'm just going to use this cheap ass foundation brush. Does it have foundation on it? No, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't come with one. You can probably use your hands. I, I really don't know. Open. Dang, these things don't want to open. Alright guys, so now I'm just going to go in with the purifying mud mask. I'm just going to put that all over my face using this. I am dropping my everything. I dropped my mirror just now. Um, I'm just going to put this all over my face. It looks, if you can just, just no, I don't want it to squirt everywhere. Okay, just like little bubbles are coming out. Maybe I'll put it. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, this is like a hella liquidy. It didn't even say like, oh, shake it. Oh my gosh, it's all over my pants. Maybe I'll, I'll shake it. It doesn't say to shake though. But, oh my gosh, that just got all over everything. That's freaking horrible. Oh my gosh, can you hear that? That's so liquidy. That one's like that too. I'm just gonna shake it. It doesn't say to shake it, but it's super liquidy. It's supposed to be a mask. Am I supposed to do pour liquid all over my face? Like, what the heck? I was expecting it to be thicker, and it's not. I'm like scared to put this on. Okay, that's better. It's still very, very liquidy, but better than before. So I'm just gonna say, um, shake it before using it. It didn't say that on there. So I definitely need to get better with their instructions. Oh, it's, I can feel it tingling, so it's working. I'm assuming, usually boxes say, if it tingles, that means it's working. So I'm just gonna assume. The same with this. And this has a horrible smell. I'm sorry, but it does. But all these things are supposed to be from like, I think it said like the Dead Sea or something like that. So they're gonna have some type of smell. Not the best smell. But like if it works and the smell doesn't bother you, then you can probably get past it. Like I can tolerate it. And what time is it? Okay. I should put my hair up. Oh well. I don't really want to put it underneath my eyes just because I have that shielding the eye cream on there. But I'm going to put it everywhere else. Which now that I think of it, I probably should have done the mask and then everything else. Oh, this is actually starting to burn. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And you leave this on for I lost the cap. Oh, okay. So we leave this on for 10 to 20 minutes. I'll come back with you, show what it looks like after 10 to 20 minutes, and then I will wash it off and give my last reviews on this. Alright guys, so it has been six minutes with this max mask on, and it is freaking burning. Like it's not a little tingle, you know, when usually like some masks like you feel like tingling, you know, like this is it really feels like it's burning my face off like that's literally what it feels like 
So I'm just gonna try and wait it out and see if I can keep handling this, but oh my goodness, it's freaking horrible. So let's see how this has been on for almost 10 minutes, but it's honestly just hurting so much. Like it's not even, you know, like usually masks are supposed to be like fun and relaxing. This is not relaxing at all. And this is what it looks like after like about nine minutes. So I'm gonna go and I'll wash it off and I'll come back and I'll show you guys what my face looks like if it looks any different and my final reviews on Blue Mineral. All right guys, so I just washed this off and oh my gosh. When you get to put some freaking cold water on your face to get that thing off, it feels absolutely amazing. My face feels so much better. Like it's not burning up here. It's still burning, but that might just be because I have of my acne. Maybe that's why it hurts so much. It might be because I have acne. It didn't say not to use it on when you have acne though. So if that's the case, they probably need to put something out there because I know even people with acne use face mask and mud mask and, and charcoal mask, things like any type of mask. So like if that's the case, they kind of need to put that out there so people with acne don't end up hurting their face. Um, yeah, my skin is red where it, it usually is red. I feel like it's more red though because I don't think it's like super All right, red. As I was saying, I'm not so sure about the softening cleansing. Like it definitely softened and stuff, but I don't think it's like a must have. Uh, this purifying uh, mud mask is gonna get a no for me. One, it spilled everywhere. Two, it like burned my face. I do have slightly sensitive skin, but I have used many, 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 many masks before. And none of them have burned my, I felt like they were burning my face. So even though I do have sensitive skin, I have used masks before. Many, many. And never one like this. So I'm just gonna say, it's a no for me. Just, it might just be because of my skin. Y'all can go ahead and try it out for yourself if you're one of those mask freaks, which I kinda am because as I said, I've tried many, many, many masks. I will give it another try and I might do an updated review on this. I mean, this, these are all first impressions of me just trying them out. So I'll, probably, if, I, if my skin can tolerate it, I will continue to use this this brand for a week or two just to see how my face likes it and give an updated review as to be fair but if I end up not like this liking this purifying mud mask y'all will be seeing this full size ha ah, this sorry my, or my finger you'll be seeing this full size purifying mud mask in a future giveaway cuz I definitely don't want to use it if it did if it's not working with my face I'm probably gonna be like, why are you giving it to somebody if they if it's not working for if you if it's like doing all that to your face? Well, cause maybe it will work out for one of you because not everybody's skin is the same. Because I've had things work for like work work for me and not work for my friend, and I've had things not work for me and work for my friend. You know, vice versa. So, yeah. In another video, yeah, I'll definitely do an updated video and I'll do like another try on slash updated review because I haven't be able, been able to use the deep moisture shield yet which is just like the even more more it has a pump okay sold me already sold me already the full size has a pump Let's see how good it works directions apply to face and neck nightly it's kind of night pump 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 I'm just gonna put it right here Ooh, like a lotion. All right. I like that. Okay, deep moisture shield. Let's see what you can do. Maybe it will help this. Ooh, this feels good. So nice. It has a slight scent, but it's not bugging me. Ooh, okay. Definitely. Okay, if you're going to get one thing, get get. Okay, either get the Deep Moisture Shield, the Shielding Eye Cream, or the Moisture Shield. I would say get the Deep Moisture Shield over the regular Moisture Shield because this one is just even better. Ooh, okay. That felt so good. It's so moisturizing and my skin just soaks it right up because my skin's super dry. And it made my skin feel so much better after that, like, burning my face mask. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is going to be my go-to now. Oh. Amazing. Amazing. And the pump amazing packaging sold but anyways that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoy it enjoyed it 
be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I got like 10 subscribers. Maybe even less. I don't really, don't really know. But, you know, I love to get more because I've been getting lots of views and not as many subscribers. But thank you all for supporting me anyways. And thank you for watching.